Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So today I'm going to teach you how to learn economics for UPSC and how to more effectively and efficiently learn it so that you can retain it for a longer time and you can understand it in a better way. So for economics for UPSC, you can divide the syllabus in main three topics. These are the top kind of bigger level topics in which you should divide your UPSC syllabus into. First is the basics of economics, basic concepts of economics, which UPSC asks every year. The second is the developmental topics. These are the topics mostly asked in mains exam. These are the topics mainly asked in prelims exam. And then third ones are the policy topics, which are mainly also asked in the mains exam. So what are the basic economic concepts that you need to know for UPSC? Well, first of all, you need to understand the concept of supply and demand. This you can learn from NCERT. I'm going to also tell you the sources. This is a source page that I've created. I will post this on my community channel also, so you can refer it from there. But basically, first is the concept of supply and demand. You can learn this from NCERT microeconomics book of class 11th which is a very simple and straightforward book you don't need to really learn more than two chapters from this that book and i will show you which chapters as well uh, in the in the laptop also okay then these are the topic numbers 2 to 11 are the main topics even if you have not studied this topic concept of supply and demand you can just focus on 2 to 11 2 to 11 these topics if you find this topic little hard or difficult or too mathematical for you so what are these topics interest rates inflation monetary policy fiscal policy balance of trade national income the indian banking and financial sector economic growth basics basically how economic growth is measured and uh, how various uh, methods have been developed in india to understand economic growth that then after that currency and unemployment these 2 to 11 these 2 to 11 topics are the core topics for upsc which you should definitely 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 know uh, because it is from these topics that these questions are normally asked every year in prelims as well as in sometimes in main paper but not really in mains paper mein isme se jyada nahi puchenge they are not going to ask you too much from this in mains paper because these are theoretical topics these are core economics topics where to read these topics from i will tell you this is our basically source page. NCERT, Murnal and Nitin Singhani are the three books that I recommend for UPSC studies for now. For NCERTs, you need three books. You need class 11th book, 12th book, microeconomics and 12th book, macroeconomics. For 12th, there are two books and for 11th, there is one book. But in class 11th book, you need to study all the chapters because all the chapters are important i will show you so if you come to the ncrt website you can simply go to the ncrt website page then you can go and select the class and this 11th class book will come in this book you need to just i will show you the prelims or the content table of contents yes here is the table of contents First is Unit 1, which is about development policies and experiences of uh, economic development from 1947 to 1990. So what was the Indian economy like on the eve of independence, then 1950 to 1990. Economic reforms on 1991. This is a very, very important chapter or unit. You should read this very carefully. Liberalization, privatization and globalization. LPG reforms. This you need to study very, very deeply. Then what are the current challenges faced by Indian economy, poverty is there, uh, human capital formation is there, rural development is there, employment is there, infrastructure, environment uh, is there and then what are the um, comparison, comparative development uh, experiences of India compared to its neighbors. So all these chapters, there are chap 10 chapters in this book, about 200 pages book, all these you should read chronologically from chapter unit 1 for the final unit of this book this is very highly recommended book if you read this book properly then there are some overlapping chapters both in Nitin Singhania book and in the Ramesh Singh book you don't need to read them you should just you can just rely on the NCRT and skip 
If you don't read NCERT, then you need to study those chapters from Nitin Sagania. What I used to personally do is I used to read the NCERT, then I used to also read some of these chapters from the other book so that I could revise. I could basically just uh, revise that in a different way, in a different uh, words, in different uh, you kind of layout it is given in some other book because that's it's easier to revise it that way. So all the chapters from class 11th book some relevant chapters from Nitin Sekhania for example chapter number 6 so from this book you need to study only a few relevant chapters for uh, for preparing for UPSC but I have given you also a method to read Nitin Sekhania here which I will discuss later then class 12th so this is this this is as far as it comes to basics of economic uh, sorry not the basics of economics for this you need to study class 12th book but for this part you have to study the class 12th book the ones that i told you right now covers mostly developmental and history of indian economics how indian uh, economic development indian economic development has evolved from 1947 till today so that is what you need to study ncrt class 11th book for very very nice book at this so these are the three pillars of basically self study for uh, for uh, for economics for upsc self study karna hai aapko usme class 11th ki puri book padni hai then uh, nitin singhani ka relevant chapters which are given here all the chapters are relevant anyways then class 12th microeconomics for them for for that you just need to download that book same on the online page and you need to only select selectively study chapter 1 and chapter 2 okay and you should try to use youtube to complement the studying of these because these are fairly technical chapters these chapters are on mostly supply and demand and these topics so you need to study these first and second chapters from class 12th micro more selectively from class 12th micro macroeconomics book you need to study chapter 2 3 4 5 6 there are only six chapters in this book class chapter class uh, chapter first you don't need to study but you still need to study these chapters and plus with that you should also use the Nitin Singhania book because this Nitin Singhania book will complement these chapters really well. The second thing is you need to study Murnal or lectures they are given on the Murnal website you can download them and you should also look at his lectures in case you don't understand this or to supplement this first study these three things after that go ahead and look at Murnal uh, lectures don't directly drive into Murnal lectures and think that you will have a good understanding first you should read from these three NCRT books then come to Munal lectures and also side by side you should read the Nitin Singhania book this is the sequence in which you should read the Nitin Singhania book this is the first batch second batch third batch and fourth batch so I have divided the Nitin Singhania book into four batches or four units chapter 6 to 11 is the first batch sorry 6 9 10 11 these are the this is the first batch chapter 6 9 10 11 second batch is chapters 12 13 14 15 19th and 21st the third batch is 1 2 3 4 7 8 and the fourth batch is 16 17 to 20 so these are the four batches in which you should divide this Nitin Singhania book I recommend this Nitin Singhania book over the Ramesh Singh book because Ramesh Singh book is very banking oriented it is very intense very deep dive book and if you start reading this as a non-economics or non-commerce student, you will find it very difficult to cover all the topics. I therefore recommend that first you read these NCRT books, then study the Murnal lectures, and then also something is left that you need to cover. Then only should you come to this Nitin Singhania book and then cover it. Otherwise, there is no use of really studying these so many books for economics, so much data, so much uh, wide level of study for economics is not required. Now, for so economics for UPSC, developmental topics are agriculture, services, industry, banking, poverty, financial markets and infrastructure. These are all given in Nitin Singhania, chapter by chapter. They are also given in NCRTs. So you can also, you can refer to them from Murnal also. For policy topics, these are mostly current affair topics. So what are these? These are current affair topics. These are economic planning, Niti Aayog reports, budget economic survey and privatization topics these you have to study 
थ्रू करंट अफेयर्स थ्रू न्यूज पेपर्स एंड थ्रू द रिपोर्ट्स दैट कम द इकोनॉमिक सर्वे यू डोंट हैव टू स्टडी इन सो मच डिटेल दैट इज नॉर्मली द इकोनॉमिक सर्वे इज अ वेरी थिक डॉक्यूमेंट नॉर्मली वॉट आई यूज टू डू इट आई यूज टू डू वर्स सिंपली जस्ट पिक अप द इकोनॉमिक सर्वे समरी एंड बजट समरी विच यूज टू कम इन सेवन एट पेजेस टेन पेजेस ट्वेंटी मैक्सिमम टू मैक्सिमम ट्वेंटी पेजेस फ्रॉम विजन आई एस और फ्रॉम एनी अदर कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ रेप्यूट सो आई यूज टू स्टडी जस्ट दैट बिकॉज जस्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द जिस्ट इज इनफ इफ यू स्टार्ट रीडिंग द एंटायर सर्वे इट विल टेक यू सिक्स मंथ्स टू रीड दैट ओनली बिकॉज इज सच ए हैवी डॉक्यूमेंट ओके सो दिस इज द इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर यू पी एस सी वेरियस थ्री पिलर्स ऑफ टॉपिक्स दैट यू नीड टू स्टडी एंड दीज आर द थ्री पिलर्स फॉर the sources that you need to um, really go for more than this is not required it's very simple uh, if you just follow this particular strategy now let me show you some old paper uh, questions also and you might recognize then what i'm talking about so i will go to d section which is the economic section so if you look at the questions here previous year prelims questions which one of the following is likely to be one of the most inflationary in in its effects see now i have studied the syllabus of upsc i have ticked, written down the main main topics i need to study and then i can match it with the syllabus also i know i have to study inflation and this is a question on inflationary in its effect so this is a question on inflation so i should definitely study this inflation chapter this inflation topic in such a way that i am able to answer theoretical and analytical questions like this similarly there was a question on black money a black money obviously it is not given here it will not be really covered that well in any of the books also so that you can come to this later then they have asked about devaluation of currency of course it happened that's why it is in uh, they are asking urban cooperative banks so this is a question on banking and banking sector when you study you should be able to cover urban cooperative banks topic similarly they are asking you about uh, uh, unemployment and employment here so that also you are going to cover in the unemployment chapter so similarly you have to study various topics of upsc there is an they ask you questions on agriculture so let's say they are asking you question on um <clears throat> you know here the question is on dccb i'll take some shorter question what is the minimum uh, statutory minimum price for sugar cane for each uh, sugar season sugar and sugar cane are essential commodities under essential commodity act so this will come from where this will come from policy topics from current affairs that you are reading because this must have been in news back then that's why they are asking this question so this is how you go back and forth to the old papers your topics so that you can get an understanding ki padhna kaise hai how to study what are what are the kind of questions you pc is asking so that you can analyze these questions and accordingly frame your studies do some google search accordingly on on google also so that you can frame your studies you can um do some reverse engineering and understand how to study that particular subject so i hope this video helped you to understand how to study economics uh, i would suggest you can get this book this book uh, i got it from my brother he generally uses it to teach economics to his students but i find it very intense and very long you know, but it is cov it covers everything but it i think it's too long so that's why i tell you that you can focus on these three sources ncrt's murnal and uh, chapters from nitin singhania so that you can cover this entire economics syllabus easily so if you have any questions let me know happy to help i might have missed something happy to help take care and bye bye